First things first, let's get rid of, start chipping away some of this rot so we can see what we're looking at. You gotta be careful not to pry off the glass because it'll break. So don't do this with the pressure going against the glass. That's weather stripping right there. It's a softer piece. Shop back in here because a lot of this is just rotted away. There's an aluminum skin on the outside, so literally from end to end, this looks like it rotted away. And so we're going to have to rebuild it from here or fill it. But first, what I want to do is see how much room I have to work with. some kind of rubber weather stripping that once used to be attached but no longer is what I've got here is a piece of wood and this is just for measuring purposes but I can almost this is a three-quarter inch piece a one by one by one by four I can almost get this under all the way but what I'm gonna do is from the inside try to build up the wood that's rotted away but having the very bottom layer like right here is foam and that's the foam that they put around the window to seal it tight from, from air. So this all right here in this area should be foam. On top of the foam should be wood. So I need a skinny board that's going to go and sit on top of this foam. And then I need another piece that's going to sit on top of that. And I'll need that piece to go right in here. And the best way to do that is uh, using a... What I'm going to do is take a bunch of measurements, like pieces of wood like this, only cedar, because cedar doesn't rot, so that's what I want to use to fill this in so it's a little bit more long-lasting. And so I'm going to get pieces of wood like this that are cedar, and then do a skinny piece, and then a little bit fatter piece, and then put them in, put them in, in reverse order, and then I'll fill the voids, especially down below there with foam. So what we're going to do here is use this oscillating saw uh, to trim up some of these corners over here. Uh, there's a knot down here in the wood that didn't rot away, so we want to kind of try to trim that up, cut that out. And I've got a couple screws here that I want to cut out as well. All right here's that knot that was in the way. That didn't rot. All right, so I cut a piece of wood here. To wedge into wedge into place, so I'm filling in. I'm filling the, in the bottom piece first, and then I'm gonna come back and put this top piece in. All right, so we shaved this one down a bit. It's very helpful to have a table saw so you can get just the exact length and height you need. All right, so we cut this one down. But this is the top piece. Now that's flush under the glass, so now we just need a front piece that's going to rest against the glass now. All right, so there we cut cut a little bit of a bevel in that. We're going to make a couple cutouts to fit it around the existing trim, but it's pretty close. All right, so we're going to this trim piece can go in last, but we've got a hole right there where some of that has rotted out. First, we're gonna put a little foam in there. It goes way, way back there. And then we'll fill the rest of that in with putty. Right, because we got a kind of a wood sandwich here, I'm just adding a few spots of glue to keep all these pieces to function as one piece. And I'm using tight bond. Tight bond two, wood glue, it's kind of what I tend to default to. And we'll have links in the description below of all the stuff we're using here today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a little foam in this corner and a little foam down in the bottom of this. 
If you do use foam, this is the great stuff. They make all kinds of different kinds of foam, but this is window and door. And why that's important is it doesn't expand uh, beyond its limits in there. Uh, there are There is foam that's expanding and will keep on expanding and will uh, break glass, will bow things out. Uh, so it depends on what you're looking for, but this will, won't bow your windows, which is what you want. All right, so you can see some of this some of this uh, foam went and expanded a little bit. Again, it has limits to its, how much it will expand. So I'm just going to cut this out. So basically, I want to I want to make sure that I have room for the wood putty. Wood filler we got is Minwax. Uh, there are, there's all kinds of options for this. They JB Weld makes some. You can use Bondo. But since we're inside, I want to use this wood filler here. It's interior exterior wood filler. So it comes with the hardener. And so you mix some of this paste with the hardener, uh, following the directions on there, and uh, it'll harden up. And that's what uh, gives it its strength. It smells like Bondo. All right, so you got about 10 minutes to get this wood filler in place as smooth as it can be. And the directions say to overfill your area to allow room for sanding. So that's something to consider. Now for me, I'm using this filler just to fill this gap. So to save yourself a lot of grief, if you're using this in a place that's more visible, you want to make that just really smooth, like you're kind of frosting a cake. And that'll save you a, ha a lot of hassle when you're sanding. It'll leave you less to sand. Now I'm gonna add my last piece of wood that's going to go on top of this. I've already cut this out. I have a little trim spot there. I trim that out and I already know this fits so I can just go ahead and pop it in. And now that I've got that in, I can go ahead and do any final bits of wood filler wherever it needs it. Yeah, so it's already starting to set up. Yeah, that's it. Is that hard there? Yep, that's hard. So you can hear it, you can see. 10 minutes, boy, and it just sets up rock solid and very fast. Anything that you don't like as far as it goes right now, you have to sand. I've got some 80 grit sandpaper I'll start with. And then we'll go down to uh, probably a 120 or one, that's a 120 sanding block. And then uh, it'll be ready to prime and paint. Now, one thing about this stuff, it stinks. I had this room closed off and, oh, it smells like a body shop in here. So, uh, opening up a window, I'll, I'll reopen up the window after we get done sanding. But uh, you definitely want to have some fresh air coming in. All right, so it's all sanded up, filled in. So, we're going to go ahead and get some, get some primer on here. We got the primer on and it's dry. So now we'll just go ahead and hit it with our this is just regular white paint. Get it back to a lot more original condition. If you got anything out of this, go ahead and give us a, a like. We appreciate it. It helps our videos along. If you got any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section below and we'll try to get back with you as soon as we can. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next video.